Now that Noah Gragson is officially headed to Front Row Motorsports in 2025, who gets their third seat? Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. On Wednesday afternoon, Front Row Motorsports officially announced Noah Gragson as one of their NASCAR Cup Series drivers for the 2025 season and beyond on a multi-year contract. You already knew that was going to happen if you watched the video yesterday, but it's now been formally announced. Who his crew chief is going to be, what his car number is going to be, that all remains up in the air. Bob Pockers spoke to Jerry Freeze over at Front Row Motorsports, and it seems like there's still a lot of moving parts over there. They're not specifically set on numbers, so we could see a different number lineup from FRM next year as well. Well, but team owner Bob Jenkins did say that they will have three young, experienced drivers in their cars starting in 2025. So obviously they have Todd Gillen driving the number 38 car. They now have Noah Gragson in an unnumbered car for 2025 at this point. Who will get that third seat? Obviously, they acquired a third charter from Stuart Haas Racing, and there seems to be three names that keep showing up in the rumor mill, and Bob Hawkers talked about them in an article that he posted earlier today. Those three names being Christian Eckes, Sam Mayer, and and Zane Smith. And if you remember, rewind here, get your Rolodex out. Zane Smith previously raced for the team in the truck series, as well as making select starts for them in the NASCAR Cup Series last year. Got a top 10 in the Coke 600, his first top 10 of his two in his NASCAR Cup Series career, and he won a truck series championship for the team as well. He, of course, signed a NASCAR Cup Series deal last year with Trackhouse, which has seen him be on loan to Spire Motorsports this year, and obviously that ride that he has at Spire will become Michael McDowell's car in 2025. So Trackhouse has to find a land spot for Zane or release him from his contract and by the sounds of it according to Bob Hawkers it appears that Zane could very much be in the mix to land a third seat over at Front Row Motorsports which honestly seems like a pretty good deal for him so the three names that are mentioned right here. Let's start off with Zane Smith. So Zane has been having a rough go of it right now in his rookie NASCAR Cup Series season. He's been slower than a Geo Metro at times. It's been a really bad, bad start for him. He did get that second place finish at the Nashville Super Speedway a couple weeks ago. He ran pretty well at the Chicago Street Course. And honestly, over the last five races, three of those races, he's shown decent speed in them. It just hasn't necessarily gotten the finishes he probably deserves out of them. But other than that, it has been a big time struggle for he and that team now yes this is the first year for the third spire car so there's some growing pains that go along with it but you would expect them to come out of the gate and be a little bit stronger than they've been and now obviously with mcdowell moving into that seat it frees up zane and now track house to figure out what to do with him do they move him in house with the third charter they're going to get from stuart haas racing or do they potentially loan him out to a college racing or just cut him free and let him go to a team like front row motorsports and they put shane van gisberg and daniel suarez and ross chastain in their cup cars and just call it a day zane seems to fit into the track house mold like he definitely seems to represent everything track house is about just has not had that speed yet. So if he ends up over at front row, that makes all the sense in the world. Jerry Freeze and Bob Jenkins are over here strategizing like they probably were pretty good at risk back in the day because they've got something up their sleeve. And for Zane, he and Noah and even Todd grew up racing together. So the three of them in a team could be pretty formidable. The only difference I see or only issue I see is that lack of a veteran presence at the moment. But of course, Todd Gillen will be going into his fourth full-time NASCAR Cup Series season next year. So there's a veteran presence there. No Gragson. It will be his fourth NASCAR Cup Series season as well. Granted, his 2022 and 2023 were a bit jumbled uh, there. 2022 was very much a partial schedule. 2023, obviously, he was released a little over halfway through the season. And for Zane, it'll be his second full-time NASCAR Cup Series season if he is the guy that lands there. And, you know, having one of the youngest teams on the grid could set them up for great success into the future. But it remains to be seen if Zane will be available or not. The other two drivers that continue to come up in conversations here, one of those guys being Sam Mayer. He has had a really good NASCAR Xfinity Series season over the last year and a half or so. He does bring a lot of funding to that junior motorsports team. And I've talked about this before as well. He says he wants to be in more conversations to be in cup rides. And I understand his frustration there, right? He's won six races uh, in the cup or in the Xfinity Series in the last, what, like 32 races at this point. So he has pretty good numbers up to this point the problem with sam is i think a lot of people much like marcus erickson in the indycar series view him as a pay driver and now he wants to be paid to drive rather than pay to drive the cars that's try to get that figured out in your brain real quick he wants to get paid to drive the race cars he no longer wants to pay 
to drive said race cars. Does that hopefully that makes some sense there? Because I know when I said it really fast right there, people might have gotten confused. So he necessarily he doesn't necessarily want to bring a check to this ride. However, getting into the Cup Series, one of the easiest ways for you to do that is to write a check and you can do that in basically every form of motorsports even though lance stroll seems to be oblivious to the fact that his dad has done that for him but that's a completely different side topic for sam i definitely think he's cup quality he has a little bit of maturity that he's still going to have to go through but i believe he's 21 yeah 21 year olds much like 18 year olds some of the dumbest people on the planets at this time planet planet at times could be plants who knows danica patrick could probably enlighten us if she absolutely wanted to she can come on the on the show at any point because that would be electric electric podcasting youtubing whatever for sam though uh he hasn't made any cup series starts up to this point and with bob jenkins saying that he'll have experienced young drivers it just doesn't seem like sam mayer will be in a position to be in that car uh, unless, you know, he wants to bring a big check with him. The other name that constantly gets thrown around, or not constantly, but has been thrown around over the last month or so is Christian Eckes. Now, Eckes has had a really, really strong NASCAR Truck Series season so far. I believe he has 12 top 10s and 13 races, just one at the National Super Speedway a couple weeks ago, leading every single lap of that race. He might be a little bit understated. He has a dry sense of humor. Reminds me a lot of Matt Kenseth, um, and, you know, maybe isn't at the top of everybody's prospects list, but this kid is is absolutely the real deal should be you know moving up to the xfinity series could definitely be a really formidable nascar cup series driver does not bring funding with him that McAnally team has a great funded truck for him in that 19 with napa auto parts and the other sponsors that they have the hydraulic company and that i'm now blanking on gates or something along those lines but for for Eck is He's a guy that's going to need funding probably behind him to to help move him up the, the ladder a little bit, but he's definitely a guy that can get up there and cut it. Corey Heim, Chris Neck is uh, 1A and 1B at this point in my prospect book, at least. So for for Eck is I don't think that he's going to end up at front row. It would be a decent landing spot for him. Bob also mentions that, you know, he has flirted with colleague before, and I can't imagine Christian Eck is ever flirting, but I'm sure there's conversations that have been had there. So I uh, hope he ends up in a ride at this point but it seems like you know zane smith could very much be in play for that third seat over at front row motorsports so let me know in the comments which driver you think will end up there it doesn't seem like it's going to be ryan priest either i know some people might say ryan priest i very much think he's probably headed to the extreme series unless he has a budget put together and could maybe end up at colleague um or even rick ware in that 50 uh 15 car rather not the 51 that's justin haley's but in that 15 car so we'll have to wait and see there but let me know in the comments who you think ends up at frm like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog